from the RCA Dome to now the Lucas Oil Stadium mm -hmm. in downtown Indianapolis, where our Indianapolis Colts play, and of course, they do a good job they of winning. They always do, that's mm -hmm. right. And you know, 35 years ago tonight, the city of Indianapolis pulled off that huge covert operation. Yeah, a lot of folks are still talking yeah. about it, as well as we are. In fact, some in Baltimore might call it more of a heist. After loading up moving vans, take a look at this. Remember this video? The Baltimore Colts slipped out of town, headed west, and they became... Dun, 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 the Indianapolis Colts. And Baltimore hated us ever since. <laughs> You've probably yep. seen that video. 15 different yeah. moving bands from Indianapolis based Mayflower leaving in the middle of the night bringing the Colts here. Yeah, and maybe you've heard some tidbits along the way about the Colts' arrival here in Indianapolis. Tonight at 6, our own Mary Mills shares the little known story of the actual midnight move that came to be. Ah, we won the yeah. Super Bowl! Think about the memories. Your favorite players, favorite plays, winning the Super Bowl. And to think it all began 35 years ago on a cold, snowy night in Baltimore. The Colts are on their way to Indianapolis. That's when the Baltimore Colts hit the road and moved to Indy before anyone could intercept them. Mayor Bill Hudnut cheered the arrival. 20,000 fans packed the Hoosier Dome to welcome their new NFL team. We sure appreciate the nice welcome you gave us today. What's still amazing is how everyone kept the move a secret. A moving van trying to hide it is next to impossible. They were able to do it. Lynn Smith, then a recent college grad, worked for the moving company. His father, John Smith, was CEO of Mayflower. Lynn knew nothing of the move until the vans were almost in Indianapolis. My dad just called me and asked me to come over to his office. It probably was not going to be the most positive situation in Baltimore. Not by a long shot, as Lynn watched old news clips from that day. They all gathered. There's Bill. He remembers standing beside his dad in the Hoosier Dome. The feeling of elation, just an unbelievable feeling that it had actually happened. Happened, as Mayor Hudnut would say, with a big boost from Mayflower and Lynn's dad. When I called up John Burnside Smith, the chairman of the board of Mayflower, uh, his first reaction was, well, yes, he'd be glad to help us if, in fact, it came time and there was a move. What most people didn't know is that the Smiths lived here and the Hudnots there. They were next door neighbors and good friends. The whole plan really transpired just between the two houses, him coming over to our house and my dad going over to their house. After the Colts moved here, the Smiths and Hudnots received physical threats requiring round the clock security for several months. They also faced legal threats. My father was sued. Yeah, the city was sued. You know, Bill Hudnut, anybody they could name in a lawsuit was sued. Nothing came of it. In fact, Lynn says the move drew a lot of great publicity for Mayflower, except in one city. I always felt sorry for the agent in Baltimore, the Mayflower agent. But, uh, I mean, he, he rode out the storm. Have you been to Baltimore? I have. When? Uh, I was there uh, about 10 years after. You certainly don't walk around with your cold sweatshirt on while you're there. Looking back 35 years. I was really kept quiet. And you had no clue. I had no idea. He still marvels at how it all unfolded. If it were to happen today, it wouldn't happen just because of social media. It would have been all over Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Word would have gotten out and... Uh, they most likely would have been able to stop it. It's just incredible that it did happen. It was kind of the turning point for our city. Which ultimately led to another big get, hosting the 2012 Super Bowl. Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Colts wow. coming here just changed our city it forever. It really did. We're yeah. so happy they're here. And, of course, we won a Super Bowl. So it's That's all right. Yeah. That's right. And it's interesting to note that Mayflower did that move free of charge for the city and the Colts. Wow. And we also checked in with our affiliates in Baltimore to see if they're doing anything for yeah. the 35th anniversary. And, yeah, you guessed it. <laughs> mm -hmm. We yeah. haven't heard bad. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, they're probably <laughs> taking a pass on that. Can't